is a G-Shock range man and today I'm going to be testing its limits. So first, drop, we have a drop test. So this is from the second floor of my house. So it's working as you can see. So three, two, one, go. And the watch is still working. So this test is a pass. Second is a high pressure jet ski. Still running. This is a pass. Third is the fish washer. So I'll just put it inside. And close it. So let's take it out. You can't see the watch, but it is there, believe me. So now it's done, and I'll open the lid. The watch is somewhere inside there, so I'll just take it out. And amazingly, the watch is still working, so this is also a pass. Fifth, freezing it in a block of ice at minus 24 degrees Celsius. Solid block of ice. Just hear that. Okay, so I'm trying to get it out now. It's really hard. So the display is visible now, and the watch is still working. But first, I need to get it out. Oh, do you see that? The auto light is still functional. Look at that. Amazing. Just incredible. So now I just have to remove the battery. It's a vibration test. So I did this around one hour. And still nothing happened to the watch. In seventh, it's uh, subjecting the watch to strong ma magnetic fields. So this is a very strong magnet. So let me just show you how strong this is. I can lift up the G-Shock box, which is in the of aluminum. Very easy. 
this is a pretty strong pattern. So I'll use it on the watch down. So far nothing's happening. was a steam at 100 degrees Celsius. So this is a steam oven, steam machine, whatever you call it. And the watch is still showing the signs of problem. Shit! I just burned myself there. So at the end, even at the end of all of this, the watch is still functional with no problems, all the buttons are working, there's no problem at all, this is just a fabulous watch, so overall it passed with flying colors.